Welcome to Deep Thought. When a society falls, a new one rises. Now, you know what? And this is something the people to really think about. Now, you know, I don't get into politics, but if you look at just everything going on in the world now, there's a lot of things that are falling. A lot of societies that are, well, they, they spiraling downwards, including this one in many ways. And because I don't mean as far as the political structure. See, sometimes when people hear that, they think it's the political structure, but it's always um, when a nation decays, it's always within the homes because it's the people that make up the society. It's the people. So how the people behave, and isn't that the stat, you know, isn't that the um, inorganic thing of the political structure? That's inorganic. Anybody can run that. It's the people who are actually running the system. And if they have um, any issues, then the rest of the system will. And, you know, there's many people say, oh, society is falling. Society is falling. And let's be real. There's a lot of chaos out here. Let's be real. I mean, violence, chaos, you know, it's hard to even go to a grocery store. That's a that's the K right there. That's the K if you have to, you know, kids might have to worry about something in schools or uh, you you might have to worry about something just going to the grocery store just to get some milk or something. That's a problem. And, you know, a lot of people focus on that because they can't see past it. But whenever one thing goes down, something else comes up, something else. And that's the thing to try to focus on. Okay, we seen all this disorder. Where's the order? And you see things here and there which could become big. You see things here and there. And there's some stuff I see in particular, but eh, I'll keep that to myself for now. I'm just pay attention. But it's just always understanding. And this isn't um this isn't like just some inspirational speech, like yes, the sun will always rise. It will though. But it's more like thinking, okay, if something's coming down. It's a matter how long it will stay down and what will come up in its place. Something always comes up. Something. If you look at the history of the world, one of the things, uh, when I was in college, I was a history major and always had an interest in history from the time I was little. And really, I had an interest in empire. I don't know. Maybe I, had, maybe I was an emperor or something in a past life. But whatever the case, always I would read the you know, stories, what's going on. And if you look at any society, regardless of where it is in the world, there was a point where they rose and then they fell. And it's always had to do with the social state of the people. And, you know, and I'm saying that because, yes, we're going through a lot of stuff, but it's just a matter of how long would it last and what is coming up in its place. Because, they, you know, you'll get different groups. One of the things, when you're talking to society, you're talking about a collection of people, a community, and how they interact with each other. And it could be, it could be based on a lot of things. Like, we know about the stuff maybe based on politics, but then you got stuff based on spirituality, philosophy, schools of thought, and everything. So, if you have one school of thought that's not working, because... If you look at a society, you got to look at the school of thought, the philosophy. What's the thoughts of the mindset of the people who are running that society? And why isn't it working? Why isn't it working? Why is it going down? But when one goes down, the other one comes up because then you'll have someone who starts uh, maybe something new. And it could be tiny now. I did a video before. And I forgot the title of it. One of y'all might remember. I, I do so many things. But I say, you know, one person can start a movement. One person can start a culture. One person can start a whole lot. Now, how we, you know, and there's probably thousands of little tiny movements like starting to like starting to be born. Now, if any, how many of them become something major to the point where it affects society itself? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Like, and let me give an example how like a movement a society could affect like maybe a small town. 
like say the small town was typically mainstream. I'll say mainstream, but it's a lot of decay, uh, jobs and everything. You know, it's just jacked up. It's just jacked up. Um, and say it empties out. Or another thing, maybe the peop some people stay there, but then new people move in, but they have a different philosophy. Like say they're vegan. They're vegan. They don't eat meat. Okay, that, that starts changing some stuff because the stores in the area, the grocery stores, any place that sells food, they would either have to start carrying stuff to cater to the new people coming in or since, you know, the other people might be moving out, they go out of business. Nobody's supporting it. But then, you know, then let's say that happens, some new stuff come in, uh, different ways of entertaining themselves. You know, maybe they... You know, they're coming in, they're vegan, but they also, they don't drink or smoke. So that's diet affecting stuff. A couple of bars in town might have to close. They were closing anyway. All of a sudden, they might be the type to say, hey, you know what? We'd rather do yoga. All of a sudden, yoga studios pop up, you know, and it starts changing the nature of that small town, even to the point of politics. Because then, you know, somebody running for office would say, hey, you know what? I'm a vegan yoga master and i'm just using that as an example but they say you know that starts changing the politics it starts changing the importance basically in that little small town you got a whole new you got a whole new system a whole new way of doing things now the system itself would be the same but who's running it is different the driver is different you basically got a different society right there different society because one of the things, and this is the importance of deep thought, no matter what, everything is moved by the mindset of the people, all societies. Like if you go to, like using a vegan example, if you get a critical mass of just in America, critical mass, you got like 6% uh, vegan rate now, but if you get a critical mass, you get that to 13%. Oh, it starts making some changes. It starts making some changes. So, and then you, what you have is a new society rising up. Now, the only issue is how attached are you to the present society? Now, it could be a problem, but it depends on, you know, it's like the fox and hen, uh, the fox in the hen house analogy. You know, the hens don't want that fox in there, but then if the fox is kicked out, that fox don't feel good. So we'll see. We'll see. But the fact of the matter is something new is rising. Something new, many tiny things are rising. Now, what becomes major, we could find out next year, we could find out 20 years from now. But it affects everything else. But just understand that, pay attention to it. Whether it's good or bad depends on your perspective and where you at on whatever side. But I want y'all to keep that in mind, okay? So anyway, that's it for now. Get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.